Doge Ford, dueño del restaurante Van Street, quien también es padre de familia con hijos, señala que un inspector encubierto del Departamento de Salud del Condado de Los Ángeles se hizo pasar por un cliente. Intentó recientemente sobornar a sus empleados para que lo dejasen entrar, ofreciéndoles dinero para pasar al restaurante. And my employee said no. He then offered him $20, saying, I'll tip you really good. I just want to sit down. I'm on my break. Please let me sit down. My employee still said no. He said, you're going to lose out on my business. I know you need business right now. My employee said, we don't allow that. He then walked out the door, left. One minute later, he turned around, came back in, and identified himself with a badge as LA County Health Department and told us, oh, you guys did a good job not allowing me to, but we're getting complaints that you guys are allowing people to sit down. What do you call that? Entrapment, 100%. Come and be a human, come and talk to us. Dos declara que preguntó a los inspectores del Departamento de Salud, por ejemplo, por qué los grandes almacenes pueden tener clientes dentro mientras los pequeños negocios no. They say that they're not here to talk about other people, they're only here to talk about us. El propietario de un restaurante, Carlos Román, afirma que durante la pandemia ha seguido todas las órdenes sobre cómo operar que el condado ha dictaminado a los negocios para mantener la seguridad de los clientes, como cuando el condado estableció las cenas en el exterior de los locales. I put up fans, I put up a canopy, turf, tables, chairs, everything. It costs somewhere in the neighborhood of $12,000 to get all that built. Doing my part to do and, and to comply with exactly what the order was supposed to be. Sin embargo, esa orden de comer fuera evolucionó en solo pedidos para llevar. Fue en ese momento cuando el inspector descubrió a clientes sentados y comiendo fuera del restaurante de Román y se lo cerraron. Román apeló la clausura de su local y perdió. Dice que no está claro cuándo podrá reabrir su negocio si es que lo reabre. I completely understand COVID and I don't I don't downplay this pandemic at all. I'm not sitting here saying there's no such thing as COVID or it's just some silly cold. I'm not one of those people. My mom got COVID first in my family and it was serious. I, I thought I was going to lose my mom. And that put a really difficult fork in my path because I, under one hand I was angry for having to close my outdoor dining, having to shut down my restaurant to the point where I can't make any money. And on the other hand I'm watching my mom suffer and really go through this disease that's that's looks like it's going to kill her. And so I I don't downplay that. She's fine now. She recovered. She fully recovered and she's doing great. I didn't downplay it then and I don't downplay it now. El día que Carlos Román cerró su negocio, la única cosa que el inspector de salud le dijo es que él solo estaba haciendo su trabajo. Everybody that I called when I asked the health department, why why? Why is this? They said, "Well, we're just doing our job." You're going to have to ask the, the higher ups. So I'd call up and they had the same story. Every single person above every single person says they're doing their job and you're going to have to address it with someone higher up. Finalmente, al final del día, un empleado del Departamento de Salud tenía algo que decir, pero no precisamente placentero de oír. You don't have my authorization to film me. I'm just doing my job. Al final, recientemente se ha permitido la reapertura del restaurante de Carlos Román para que ofrezca servicios en la terraza. Él dice que no está claro si después de un año de COVID-19 con sus confinamientos y restricciones podrá recuperarse. Sin embargo, afirma que tiene todas las razones para intentarlo.